The diamond in my ring fell out today. It came with a 10 year worksmanship guarantee. Yesterday was our 10th wedding anniversary. Oh, it's always when you have like these guarantees and whatnot. Like it's, it's almost as if things are designed to break as soon as your safety warranty is gone. <laughs> you know? But there is an easy way to avoid this, and that is to just not get a guarantee. Hmm, do you want to spend an extra five pounds on that online order to get a little bit of safety guarantees in? No, no, I do not, because I'll forget about it within by now. So I'm not going to spend a little bit of extra money for something that doesn't cost that much to get a little bit of safety from it. No, thanks. No, it's cool. It's cool. I'm good. Thanks. Stop <laughs> <laughs> I do not live life smart. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen and today we're taking a look at r slash, well that sucks, a subreddit dedicated to things that just make you go, mm, that just sucks man. Oh sorry dude. Let's just jump straight in shall we? Insurance wouldn't pay two grand to have a leaning tree removed so they had to pay much more to rebuild the barn when this happened. <laughs> I don't know, man. That seems like a win to me. Uh, if the insurance company don't want to take those preventative measures, I was like, oh, two grand to get... Wait, two grand to get a tree removed? Hold on. Is it that much to get a tree? How much are tree surgeons over there? Like, I used to work as a tree surgeon's assistant, and I, I, I was, like, cutting down trees and whatnot with, like, my boss and all this. I never knew it cost that much. Hang on, how much does it cost, tree surgeon? You know what? I just tried to figure out how much it would cost, but I didn't want to get a quote because then they'd have my details and I don't have trees to cut down. <laughs> I'm not going to go looking into this. But that's, yeah, yeah, that's a win for you, man. Just on the case because they didn't <laughs> get rid of this tree and now they got to pay out more. Ooh. <laughs> man, I have a thing against insurance companies. Anytime I get to see them get screwed over. Yeah. Perfection. Bull shark spotted in the backyard after area flooded in Queensland, Australia. Okay, look, Australia is dangerous. Everything there wants to kill you. We this isn't a stereotype. This is this is just fact. This is just fact. And now and now you can't even be safe on land from sharks. Australia, please sort yourself out. I would love to visit you. I would absolutely love to go visit family and friends down in Australia. But you just, you're just making it so hard for me wanting to actually go and risk my life. <laughs> Found my AirPods after an exhaustive search and buying a replacement. My six-year-old son put it in his stocking and forgot about it. Oh, that sucks, dude. That really sucks. But I think the biggest thing is you paid out that much for just some in-ear buds? I mean, how much do AirPods even cost? Hang on. All right, 159 quid for the basic ones or 249 for the Pro. That's... I, can't, I guess you can't be mad. I've spent that kind of money on headphones. But to be fair, they are studio quality headphones, which I am wearing right now. <laughs> but the... That just seems exorbitant for what they are. Like, I don't know. I guess they have the... I don't know. I guess they have their uses. I try not to blast on things just for the sake of it. Like, I try to see the uses and, like, why they might be that expensive. But at the same time, it is Apple, which makes you pay way too much <laughs> for their things. It's a, it's a status thing. It's not a quality thing. Family went to Florida. I wasn't invited. I was asked to watch the dogs for the week. Morning of day one. Oh, oh that's a lot of poop. What did the dogs... What did they feed the... Did the... Did your parents purposely... <laughs> purposely feed your dog laxatives? <laughs> that's just... Not only not being invited to go on holiday with your family, but then... The, oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, that really does suck. Like, I guess this really does depend on how much this sucks on... What's the reason you didn't go with them? Was it because they needed someone to look after the dogs? Or was it because... They thought you, they didn't want you there. Because uh, <laughs> this could go down a deep rabbit hole of, well, that really does suck. The dinner my husband was cooking for three hours. Ah, what did you do? How did you manage this? I'm genuinely curious. How, that's not a temperature thing. Did you just drop the lid onto it? Those things are normally tempered to withstand like temperatures and shock and whatnot. What did you do to this thing? But 
at the same point, it's not all bad. Uh, just pick out the shards or keep them in for extra texture. So not only is it dinner, it's now transcended to dinner and a show as you watch your family <laughs> scream in pain as they try and take bites tentatively. Well, it's not a good idea to clean the screen of your MacBook with glass cleaner. Hold on. Hang on. What is that? Yeah. Oh, is that the anti-glare layer? I, I, I don't know the correct name for it, but did they just... Oh, they destroyed that. Oh, no. <laughs> How much is that going to cost to just repair? Oh, is this a case of like, it's just going to be more, it's just going to be more cost effective just to get a new one. God damn. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, if this is the issue, if this is the problem, have you just tried turning it off and on again? I don't know. That might fix it. Uh, you could clean it. You could just try and clean it. Just try and clean it again. See if that gets rid of it. <laughs> oh yeah, that does suck, man. Not as bad as the guy who traveled to see the Golden Gate Bridge, but this is my wife and I at the highest point on Skyline Drive overlooking the majestic Shenandoah Valley. I, I guess it's not I guess it's not ideal that you didn't see the scenery that you came to see but at the same time you went there you went there you went there with your wife and that's the experience you're gonna remember not the view the fact that you went out of your way to spend that time together no oh, that doesn't suck at all it doesn't suck at all that's great look you still look happy together even if things don't work out right you're still there having a good time together that's what really matters. Went out on a boat without sunscreen today, and now I have what I am calling the bib of pain. Oh, dude. Yeah, I know this pain. I know this pain. It sucks. It absolutely does suck. Uh, when I was 18, I went on holiday to Tenerife with a couple of friends just after finishing college. And I, after day one, I was so damn stupid, I did not get waterproof sunscreen in Tenerife. I am ginger, by the way. If I, even a basic light bulb will give me third degree burns so <laughs> it's bad it's bad i am essentially hyper vampire so lo and behold first day's great everything's fine when in the ocean everything like that second day i wake up with what is known as the reverse vest of pain it looked like <laughs> it was the worst it turned out i had basically got like second degree burns on my shoulders i this is gross this is absolutely gross, but I basically had, like, burnt shoulder pads after, like, a week. And it was the most pain. I could not sleep. I could not go anywhere. I couldn't even wear a damn top. That plane ride home was the most excruciating eight hours of my life. Moral of the story, don't be a dumb dumb and take the, <laughs> take the needed precaution if you're going out in the sun. I okay, let's move on. Bye-bye. I, left, was excited to see the tip of Africa from Gibraltar, but bog... Still the closest I've ever been. Again! Again! You went there. You experienced the trip there with someone that you enjoy spending time with. And you're still having a good time. It sucks you didn't get to see it, but you'll remember that day. Alright? Okay, cool. Cool. You had good time. Next time, go again. Go again with your friends. Or family. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but go and do it another time. And maybe, just maybe you'll see it then. And then it'll just be still a good time. I see your scenic photos ruined by the weather and present the time I fulfilled a lifelong dream to visit the Taj Mahal. This is the, okay, so this is just a running theme. Again, you, you went there, you visited it. Look, it's even in the fog. You can see it. You can see it. It's there. It's peeking through. It's even more mystical now. Look, okay, dude. These aren't, well, that sucks. Look, you still went to visit these places. It's just because you didn't get like the picture perfect little thing. It's fine. It's fine. You still went there. You still experienced it. <laughs> Maybe the Taj Mahal was just a little bit shy that day, you know? Did you ask permission to take photos? Bet you didn't. Be a bit more considerate, asshole. <laughs> this why hair dye says to test it on a small spot before applying everywhere. Bad allergic reaction. This looks like a bad Photoshop, and that terrifies me even more. That looks so much like pain. <laughs> oh, you couldn't even wear a hat. <laughs> could you walk through doors i'm sorry i should not be making like light of the situation that looks so painful oh my god are you i i hope you're okay god it just feels like a bad photoshop user loose found out not to ignore your shepherd the hard way 
Look, all I'm saying is that dogs, cats, most animals are way smarter than a lot of people give them credit for. Hey, you're not paying attention. Hey, I want to play. Okay, I'm going to put this right in that thing. Okay, cool. Now I've got your attention. I know you'd like that, and I'm going to destroy it. Pay attention. <laughs> That's such a good doggo. Why would you? Why would you not be paying attention? Oh, wait. Does he have? A, does he have a little vest on? Does he have a little sweater? That's adorable. My Newton's cradle fell from the desk and is now a Newton scrotum. <laughs> Dude, why did you describe it that way? No. <laughs> If your scrotum looks like that, seek medical help. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're getting some clicky clacky with that now. Oh, God. Although I would find that fun just to kind of like untangle that. I always find it fun to untangle messes like that. But still, I don't think I want to now that you've described it as Newton's scrotum. <laughs> Really wanted to see Big Ben when I was in London. Mm. Nope, nope, no. I think it was like early this year they decided to renovate it. So maybe if you want to go see some landmarks, you should do a little bit of research before you go sightseeing. Just a quick thought. Because <laughs> that was a big thing when this happened over in, in England. Like there was like the last chiming of the bell or something like that. And, that, and then like they started work on it. Actually, I say the but actually I said at the beginning of this year. I can't remember when they started renovation work on it because there's, if I remember correctly, there's normally quite a lot of stuff on it. Trying like just doing work with the with the with the tower itself. I don't know. I don't know. I've not been to London. I don't know. It's just a big tower with a big bell that tells the time. It's like a, it's an oversized watch. Who needs it? <laughs> <laughs> And that's all the time we have for today on Cowers. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing or sharing with a friend and make them go like, yeah, dude, that does suck. If you want to see some more r slash well, that sucks, then hold around for just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host, Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.